so on this video I will share my information about channeling which I had where I got the information how sorry I will sit comfortably how did creation happen uh, so basically this channeling was one of the first channelings and this question was one of the most interesting questions that I have how did everything happen how was earth created how was how was the creation itself created and this is a very long story uh, from the channeling, the channeling itself was really strong, really, really strong. I, I understand it was a really powerful entity coming through, and uh, I, I'll just recall the memories. At first, there was nothing, but still, there was something. So, uh, basically, what that something was was just a gray sheet. Of nothing just of there was just a place where something can happen in nothing uh, this concept I didn't understand because there's still a question that there was something and what was before that something well that information I didn't have but also I got the information that there are beings creating new universes new universes new universes new universes and when I ask them what kind of new universes well basically this universe which we live in here uh, I, I get also the images about the fields divided, so basically this universe which we are living here is maybe up to six dimensions, I, I didn't quite catch that, I didn't quite specifically, but where I understand the angels and the pure soul itself lives out of any dimensions, out of, out of from any dimensions, so this dimension which where we live, this creation where we live in, is created from light, the God's light, God's pure light. Now this information comes from channeling. This is not myself imagined or something else, and uh, you should not take this too much seriously. But just a story. Uh, God's light, which is pure white crystal light, really powerful light. Sound. First concept: light, sound, and energy. So three concepts create this universe. And how did it happen? Now first there was this gray sheet or dark gray or black like sheet. And there was a dot of light, and it somehow uh, really strong energy floated. Uh, white energy was coming out. The first symbol that came out of the first was light. Then there was the sound. The sound, sound. The sound was like a twirling, like 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 if you know a massive flow of light is moving and it creates some dense sounds like you know I don't I don't know I don't I, I cannot describe how the sounds was but it was really interesting and uh, then when the sound happened they were coming out first symbols and the first symbol was the symbol which I realized was Om and the whole universe resonates in the sound of Om but really deep really crystal clear really strong really 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 beautiful there is a Tina Turner mantra Saster uh, Tavatu and they are in the beginning they have this Om really closely but that, that Om is much more deeper much more closer you can check out the video Tina Turner mantra Saster Tavatu Shanti or something like this and uh, th th there was this big light there was this flowing of sound and there was the first symbol which was the Om. Om was like this kind of symbol, I, can't, I don't quite catch it but I, I saw it visually and uh, uh, straight after or before the Om they were coming out first goddess, first entities, first beings, first uh, consciousness, first other consciousness, first divided consciousness, first separated consciousness from the first consciousness itself and they were coming out, they were not really much with ideas as idea itself came from experiences they were just being really plain, really simple and you can say really empty of ideas and thoughts because they're in a really new place where there's nothing actually happening, happening. and then there was uh, energy coming out so uh, energy was a mixture. The consciousness of these beings is a mixture of light, energy, and sound. So basically, what these entities were were combinations, like uh, of these these three concepts. 
And another next thing that happened was uh, this, this you do later on in channeling. So basically in channeling what happens is you get the basic information and when you go want to go deeper in this topic, okay, I want to go deeper in this topic, you get deeper in this topic. And the first next question was that where was the big explosion? You know, there is a big explosion. I said, okay, yes, big explosion. Now, straight after this, the entities were all like one, all in one, all as one. So, uh, for the separation, even more, we needed, they needed a, a sensation of space, like differentiality, like a sensation of distance, sensation of disconnectivity. And how did they create this? Was there, I don't know how did they create this, but then there was a a ball of of movement, a ball of movement. It was, it was like a huge ball. You can say a sun, right? And it was like an, a massive explosion, constantly and always exploding, strongly, a speed of light, like a ball. And and the inspiration I have is that if uh, this being comes closer to this this huge ball, which is not the first God's light, but it's something after. Uh, his hair would be blown away, his hair would like blowing away, blowing away, blowing away. And what this created, this created movement, constant and always movement, 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 movement. And these entities have, a f and this movement was always going, was always going, was always going. And these entities had the sensation of distance because if they go farther, they have, when they go farther, far farther, I mean, they have a distance that this movement is coming slower. So, I mean, they have this. Uh, feeling of distance. If they come closer, they coming. They have this idea of distance. They have this idea of distance. And this this would create the space, time time and space, but not space as we receive it here, like empty space, but space in the the first realities that happened. Now, how did the Earth happen? Now, what I realized, what I understood at, at fr first, that. The sun didn't come. The sun wasn't first here. It was the Earth itself was here, or the Earth itself was then somehow moved. To, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't ask the question. But what I realized is, when the Earth was created, uh, there was all, all already full of light. But I didn't catch if this light was uh, from sun or from this pure white light, which was the first white light. And uh, now, how did the the first element that created was uh, was created was water. So basically, what happens is uh, how I understand this. What's happening is there is this divine white light coming through, and on one side there is created energy, like vibrating, and created sound vibrating, and they somehow touch in vibration points in a one in one point. And when they touch in this one point, and light touches in this one point, they create crystallization process, and from this water comes out. Small dots of water crystallize water, coming out water, 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 water. And a new element was born, which was water. And basically when water was born, there was really lots of water then. And then from water and these three elements, sound, energy, and light, uh, another element came out of when the water was touching energy, sound, and light. Another element came out, came out which was like uh, I I got I got the inspiration of crystal or something like rock, the rock-like crystal. And when this mass was really strongly, the energy started movement because something is moving, something is moving, something is moving. Because of the movement, they created another energy, which is the energy of movement, the magnetic magnetic fields, energy fields, and the whole the whole energy itself, the whole mass, the the rock-like crystals and the water uh, created a mass and forming into a ball. You could say Earth. It was forming and forming and forming, and from these crystal-like rocks, there were coming out huge rocks, and they they were like vibrating and touching each other and creating dust. And from the dust, water, dust, light, sound, they were creating sand, and so on and so on. And from sand, water, light, they created a really huge mass, which was the size of the Earth. And from the crystallization process itself. Uh, they were also coming out of this mud, sand, they were coming out of mud, then they were 
and then the energy of the sand created the energy of the earth which is right now the birth giving energy the earth itself conscious energy it gave the energy and through these concepts sand energy which is the earth energy uh, light sound water they crystallized the first uh, plants which were huge which are huge and very simple but growing very very fast very fast and when they started when things started to grow uh, there were these first uh, God-like goddesses, you can say Shivas or something like this, they went to see this, how these concepts, these three concepts create and create and, and unfold and unfold and create further and further and further and they come across and they saw this beautiful white planet which is coming out, this beautiful beautiful flowers, this beautiful and they want to be with them like in terms of physically and they just wanted to see how these beautiful plants, these beautiful ideas, these beautiful expressions, these beautiful concepts are rising and rising and rising. They felt so much love and they were watching how this comes, This then there was a sea, then trees, you know, sun, and they were so amazed. And as they were amazed and watching this, because of the earth energy itself, uh, their bodies started to crystallize into physical bodies or because their conscious energy which was the you can say light bodies were touching the energy of the earth the sand energy the, the, the energy itself here their bodies started also crystallizing into physical bodies so basically then then, then they were slowly crystallizing into the idea of of their body as the same as their soul light body they're crystallizing their own bodies so basically from this concept if you create your light body for example as a dinosaur you can walk as a dinosaur and you slowly crystallize a dinosaur and so on and so on the story went on and went on uh, this uh, and right here this we stopped because we, we started to channel about Christians and then and, and, uh, Jesus but this is another video and this this was basically about the story itself uh, how it was all created oh yes another thing we, 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 we turned to Christianity these questions and uh, we jumped to you know suffering what is the mind what is the power of mind how how was this when did this happen when this suffering came and then they turned to the times of christianity and the terms of the the old times and basically what should we understand about mind is that language as we use it today is basically misunderstood at first there was this sound everything Everything in universe communicates in one language, that is sound. And sound, energy combination. So basically everything that you hear sound inside of you as energy floating, as energy sound, is a tele telepathical communication between everything. Like between trees, cars, tables, earth, angels, whatever, all communicate in one language, that is language of sound. Uh, I mean, not like language of sound, like if you're hearing something, but in uh, terms of understanding it, in terms of uh, understanding by by sound, by energy, not by words, but by sound and energy. And the, at first it was that the first beings, I understand them from the continent India, they were, they, the first really spiritual beings came from India. And, and they knew this, and they were always in a strong contact with the universe. That's what they always said. We all need to be get back to the contact of the universe, the contact of the source, contact of the connectivity. And uh, when you are in contact with the universe, you know everything. Uh, as in terms of when you want to know, you know everything. Uh, you can communicate with everything. You can communicate with many, many... Sorry. You, you can be in touch with everything. And the first language was sound, and sound itself was divided, was then turned into music, which were the mantras. And mantra meanings are not 
as we understand word by word, like, you know, this mantra gives you peace, and this mantra gives you that, and this mantra opens your connection, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these were sounds. These are not words, these were sounds. Sounds that align your energy. I would say not the modern mantras, but the old ancient mantras. And all these were sounds, ritual sounds, that align your energy in order to perceive the energy that will come through, as, as in terms of, for example, when you put out a wish, okay, I want to know this and this, you have the feeling inside, and this feeling inside is the telepathical communication, and you get the answers for it. And these mantras also resonate the sound waves, everything puts you in the feeling where this guru wants you to put you. For example, you want to open your higher consciousness, you have to have this feeling, and this feeling is translated into these sounds, la 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 la. And when you do these sounds, somehow you align your consciousness to these sounds and you get uh, the same wave as the information, as the consciousness to receive the information about, it, about this. And, uh, and it was re with really many things. They just communicated telepathically with each, in each another. But the world was so separated. For example, you, uh, for example, China, for example, uh, Europe was really different. Uh, distances and for these sounds to be delivered further they write it the, this this first language was their symbols but symbols also the symbols were first uh, symbols uh, from symbol realities so basically when you look at these symbols you have to have this connection in order to receive the same energy and not from the sounds but only from the symbols the symbols contain the same energy but you have to be telepathically connected with the source in order to have the feelings about these symbols uh, and right then I knew uh, Indian language I mean uh, the Sanskrit uh, uh, I, I just read the mantras I understand, I understand what for this mantra is the Turner mantra I understand what for this mantra is uh, I just understand, understand. I also understood uh, numbers for example sometimes you get these numbers oh. what, is, what these numbers mean well, this number means this and this, this number means that and that. I just have constant connection. I just, I was sitting here, I was like amazed, wow, these numbers and these numbers. I was, I was always, I was always thinking, what does number 25 mean? Because 25, I always see 25. 25 meant from balance, transformation to light and to uh, uplifting uh, light world. I mean, like light, reality, like light everything light, not light is in terms of something that is bright, but light that is very easy, very happy, very joyful and very full of light, with light and in terms of light, light weighted, everything is very simple, everything is very flowing, so in terms of normal life to in terms of, in terms of light life, much lighter, and, uh, uh, and yeah, and from the symbols to be written and trying to deliver further so they can understand. And there were really, really strong problems in Europe uh, as in terms of Rome and everything that these people didn't understand what what is written here. And